Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey, welcome to my channel. Can't believe it, episode 13. Yeah, this is PX, Mr. Collector, and I've got some stuff for you today. So get ready, because here I come. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey, check out my new t-shirt. Here, let me get a little closer so you can see them. Ooh, sweet! <laughs> a little Wonder Vision for you. Um, so today, we, I mean, I, I'm like, I'm perturbed. I don't even know where to start, I'm, I'm perturbed. SciShow, SciShow, SciShow is like a daily disappointment. <laughs> I got to tell you, every day when I wake up, the first message I get is delay, delay. So yesterday, are you ready for this? Yesterday, I got seven messages about seven different figures that are delayed. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I know that, you know, I couldn't even imagine if somebody's expecting the one, like they, they all wrote the one, right? And every time they get postponed and postponed and postponed, and I'll be really upset about that. I mean, it takes the fun away from it, you know? Um, lucky for me, I got other stuff that comes in, you know, whether it's Sideshow or, you know, Integrity Toys, Barbie, whatever it may be. I, I've got something going on. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm expecting my, um, my um, Bruce Willis G.I. Joe. And I'm really excited about that because I um, I haven't been adding anything to my G.I. Joe collection. And I know even though he's a Hot Toys, he belongs with my G.I. Joes. I mean, that that's, that's, that's the way that's gonna grow. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. And that, by the way, I didn't get him from Sideshow. I'm actually getting him from Hong Kong. Um, it's either TNS or Toys Wonderland. They're, they're, they're shipping it out. So it should be here, I think, by Monday. So that's right. And by the way, Tuesday, Tuesday, April 13th is my birthday. That's right. So with that said, on April 12th, <laughs> I order all these little birthday gifts for myself. Yeah. So it seems like I have like four or five things coming on April 12th and I am so stoked about that. I, I think it's, you know, it, it's just the way it worked out. You know, and then you know how it is. You don't, you order these things, you don't know when they're going to show up. But it turns out they're going to be here on April 12th. So I'll be set for my birthday. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, let me have a sit. Let's talk about stuff. So yeah, so here, let me run down um, some of these um, messages that I have been getting from, um, from Sideshow. And... Um, it's upsetting. I got to tell you, it's upsetting. All right. So it seems that already Batman Beyond is running late. It's running late. He is, um, now they say May, June. IG-11, they're saying June. Iron Patriot, September November. That's crazy. That is crazy. And by the way, my last payment on that was a year ago. A year ago. And that's how late they, they, that one figure is running. Hulk Team Suit, June, July. Rescue, that's another one. I, I mean, I paid for that, the last payment like months and months ago. Now they're saying June, July. Right? I mean, we haven't even heard anything about it. Like, 
I'm like, is it really, is it even happening? Right? Like crazy. Thanos. Thanos. I got the, um, the Endgame Thanos, the damaged um, one. And I'm really stoked about it because, um, like, I, you know, I said before, you know, it's all about his expression and I love the bruising on him and that's going to be a, a beautiful figure, you know, and I like the, the fact that, um, because I got the first Thanos and I didn't get the second one. It looked a little too familiar, you know, and that was on with the gold. I think it was for Infinity Wars. And uh, when they come up with the end game, it does have the gold, but with all the damage, it just makes them pop out a little bit more, you know. So I'm really looking forward to getting that sometime in June, July. So what they say. And um, yeah, and like I said, no word on cap. And I'm like, that takes a fun. It really does. Um, so in my, um, you know, today I, I, I saw when I saw that, uh, the stormtrooper and the and the speedster actually may happen. I'm already thinking, where am I gonna put it? <laughs> where is gonna put? Where I'm gonna put it? And um, so, like right now, my 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 you know my drafting table, which is where I'm, I'm I'm talking to you from. So this is where I mostly do do my videos because I have the space, and it's a pretty um, good one. Um, but you know, here I uh, I'm a collector of you know children's books and I, I, I love toys. So my workspace is about that. And right now I'm dealing with a lot of different um, technology and electronics and stuff like that. So there's some of that going on as well. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I, I got a light box to um, start you know, doing some unboxing and showing the figures that are, are better light and better lighting. And I love it. Oh my God, I love it. And what I love about it is that it is big. So I don't feel like I have to squeeze in, you know, to get in it and be able to like um, uh, not see, you know, you know, uh, work well, you know. And then um, I have now tried. The, I'm on my, on my, my third turn turntable. I'm my third. The first one I liked it. I mean, I, I liked the remote on it. I liked how we did, you know, did all kinds of things. But that baby was loud. It was loud, and what was happening is, you know, I commuted when I'm doing a video, but I couldn't talk over it. I couldn't talk over it. So, you know, as I'm talking, all I could hear is that. So, return that one. Then I say, I was like, okay, well, I think I'm gonna get another or bigger one, and I, you know, researched it and came out with this other one that was actually too big, <laughs> and still. It made some, you know, like a humming. That better than the last one. However, it didn't have a remote, and the spinner was so slow. Yes, yeah, as a matter of fact, in my last video, I think I did um, when I showcased Superman. He was on that on that on that turntable, and as you can see, he is like crawling. <laughs> so today that was returned back. So I'm waiting for now for my third one. So as soon as that comes in, I hope that's the one because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do if I don't like it, you know? So that, you know, I'm now going for the right size and, you know, noise reduction and remote and different functions. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, so, so that's exciting. And then, um, you know, some of these videos right now I'm doing either from a laptop or I'm doing from my phone. And um, I have a professional camera, you know, that I did one video and when I tried to move it on to, you know, upload it, it wouldn't upload. It wouldn't upload at all. And I was like, are you kidding me? So, you know, the thing about these things is that, you know, I, as you can see, this is not scripted. I am talking to you naturally. This is this is pa passion coming at you, right? Well, it's hard to rewind that passion. It's hard to rewind the excitement. I can't be doing all this stuff, you know, on the same. It, it doesn't work that way. So I um I had recorded this whole segment, and sure enough, my laptop froze at the same time. 
the camera turned off. And I was like, oh man. So I was like, okay, maybe I could say some of it. And when I went to upload it, it would not let me upload it. So I got on, immediately I got on Google, put in my problem with that certain camera. And freak, if you would not believe that it's a big issue with this camera and the setting and people uploading it. So today I'm going to be taking a class on that little baby because it's a killer camera and I just want to make sure that I get it to work however I want to work and without interruption. Okay, so fingers crossed on that. Um, so I think in episode nine or so, I told you about some coming soon um, figures. And when I looked up Sideshow, there were 22, 22 figures coming out. That's nice. That's nice. Today, when I checked, it would be down to 21. So I'm thinking, okay, well, that means there would be something, right? Well, the thing about this coming soon thing is that it's hard to get excited about it, first of all, because... Even if it coming soon, I don't know when you're going to get it. <laughs> because the figures that are out now, we're not getting. So it kind of like, you know, takes the fun of it. But, you know, I'm going to pre-order it. I'm going to have it all set up. And I found out that, you know, Cyborg may be announced any day now. And the same thing with Falcon from um, um, Winter Soldier, right? We'll see, we'll see. So when I looked up at the coming soon, I, I gave you some, some, um, you know, some names the other day, and then today I'm gonna continue it because I actually have, let's see, wow. Right here on this sheet alone, I think I got, I have 16, 16 that I didn't say before. So that's a lot. I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of figures. So let's see, um, I saw the two Drax. Two different drags that they, they showcased. One was um, one is from Infinity Wars. And then the other one is from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. The one of Gar Gar the, uh, the Galaxy. I like that figure. Yeah. I have not been into Drax. I saw it when the you know the first one that came out, and I was like. He wasn't, I wasn't sold on him. I wasn't sold on him. So I'm, I'm hoping that, that these new ones um, have something more to offer. Yeah, but got to get them because as you saw the first one in the secondary market, that was crazy. Nothing cheaper than 500. Yeah, and he, he really doesn't offer much, you know. I mean, his expression was like, eh. And then, you know, basically his plastic skin and, you know, markings on it. No, as far as his accessories, clothing-wise, there really isn't much to the guy. He was kind of naked, <laughs> so, um, so that's why. Right. So that's um two right there. Then the third one was Cedric Cedric um um Diggory from Harry Potter, which is you know it was Robert Patterson. The one disappointment about that, well, first of all, Robert, Robert Patterson when he did did um Harry Potter, he was young, he was so much younger. And even people that see the, the movie, I'm like, yeah, that's Robert Patterson. They have to like really look to, to notice that it is him. But the figure looks nothing like him. Yeah, so I was a little disappointed. And I was like, well, I know that he looked a little different, but you can't tell at all that it's supposed to be Robert Patterson. Um, so that was kind of sad. And I believe that between, they're doing two Different ones, one with the uniform and then the one with the wizard outfit. Um, so yeah, so Cedric, um, that should be coming out soon. And then um, another Scarlet Witch. And then, I'm hoping this is true. So they're doing a Scarlet Witch from Infinity Wars. Um, and the reason I wish this is true is because they seem to be doing a lot of figures from Infinity Wars. And it would be awesome if they did all the figures of Infinity Wars. I mean, that would be a nice, nice diorama. That would, I mean, that would be killer. Um, 
Yeah, so, you know, and the same thing with um, Vision. They're doing an, uh, another Vision, uh, from what they say, of Infinity Wars as well. So, you know, the thing about Vision is, like, I'm not exactly sure how much his outfit changes. You know, um, I know that it was a little different in, in, in WandaVision, but as far as Infinity Wars to when he did, I believe, was Ultron, it... um. It doesn't look that different to me. So let's see. Then this I thought was funny. They're doing a, um, a John Black, um, Dewey, Dewey Finn from School of Rock. And that's by Big Sway. Yeah, so Blitzway is is um, um, doing that. And I, uh, and you know, for anybody that enjoy the movie or enjoy the character, this might be a, a must have for your your collection, you know, I think that goes in the same category as, um, you know, the movie section where for, um, like, you know, um, Back to the Future and um, um, that um, oh, Keanu Reeves and, oh my God, I can't even think of the name of them, but you know what I'm talking about with the, 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 the double set. And um, so I think that, you know, you're that, you're that type of collector that that's a must have for your collection. And then I saw the Range Trooper from the Solo movie. I got to tell you, that Range Trooper, he is good looking. That fur around the collar and the, all the white, I mean, yeah, he, he is nice looking. Like, I really, really like him. So let's hope that that works out. And then the one that I'm excited about, and I hope it happens, you know, is Vulture. Yeah, Vulture. Um, you know, Michael Keaton played him in Spider-Man Homecoming. And his, like, you know, he has kind of a, like, a aviator out, you know, suit on. And his wings expand. And, I mean, that that's going to be amazing. If that does happen, that's going to be a killer figure to have. And then also for Infinity War, they're doing um, Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther down there, they're doing another one. Um, so for Infinity War, so like I said, if they do all of these figures of Infinity War, that's going to be a nice set right there. And I always, and if you're a first time collector, if you're thinking of what, you know, um, um, hot toys to get, you might want to start out with the Infinity War collection because... It is growing nicely, and I think that that's going to be, if you stay within the Infinity War, you're going to have a nice selection of all the different characters versus, you know, there was some, only a few in Ultron, Captain America, or um, Ant-Man, or, right, because they were all brought in to do Infinity War. So, as a first-time collector, if you're thinking of collecting and where to start, that might be one way to go. Um, you know, the same thing with Star Wars. Star Wars, we have characters from all the Star Wars, right? All the different dimensions, whether it's, um, you know, the animation, whether, you know, Clone Wars, whether it's um, the, you know, first three movies, whether it's, uh, you know, the later movies, whether it's Solo. I mean, there's just so many facets that go into it. But the thing is that not one movie or, or series has an entire group of, of characters. Um, it's kind of a mix, mix match thing. So um, if you're a first time collector and you think you'll get kind of getting top toys, you may want to consider the Infinity War as far as which way to go. Um, another one that I think is going to be completed as soon as, um, oh my God, what is her name? I can't even think, um, you know, the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy. That whole set is just about done, and we're waiting for now for Little Martian Woman. I can't remember her name, but um, and I think she's supposed to be coming out um, soon. So let's hope that that does happen, right? Um, then one that I'm surprised hasn't been out at all, and I know from what I understand, they had showcased them at one of the Comic Cons with I think it was like 2017 or so, and finally he resurface again as far as like coming soon and that's Poe I'm surprised it's taking this long I mean Poe is huge character in, in, in the Star Wars you know trilogy and 
is important. He's important. And I think that it's a must have. It's a must have. So I'm really, really hoping they come out with Poe. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of hoping they come out with Poe before any of those other ones. Yeah, I think I would, I would, I would really dig that. Especially now where they got um, Luke, the, the, the pilot, um, coming out, you know, with the orange. And I think if they did Poe the same way, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Um, and then, of course, Valkyrie from, from Thor Ragnarok. That's a must-have. That's a must-have. Um, yeah, I think she, I, you know, I saw the, the head scope and they nailed it. They nailed it. I mean, she is beautiful. And I have a feeling that if, you know, I wish, I mean, like, I really hope that they, they, they would do this, is that if they do her for um, her character from Infinity Wars and they add the Pegasus, oh, that would be hot. Yeah, with her armor. Remember, she had that armor, that silver, shiny armor, and she was ready for battle. And then they told her Majestic and that white Pegasus. Oh. Ooh. That'd be hot. Yeah. Sideshow. Hot toys. Let's get with it. Yeah. Hope they hear me out. <laughs> um, and then there is some, you know, talking about um uh, Back to the Future. They're coming out with uh, Marty McFly and um, oh my god, um, Dr. Brown. Doc Brown for number two. Yeah, so if you missed out on number one, number two is coming. So that I know for a lot of you know collectors that that, that love that series that, that you know more's coming, so good for you. Um and then I saw that from Delarian, the city of a thousand planets. Two characters. Um Lover Laureline, 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 yeah, Laureline and Major Val Delarian. Two characters, you know, they look like you know, I didn't see the movie, but they look like 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 kids and probably to be major, major um uh, Valerian. And I found that interesting. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to um um scope that movie out and check it out because the figures they look cool. They look really, really cool. And um for sci-fi collectors. I think you you may want to get those. You may want to get those. Yeah, so I um I'm really happy with what I saw as far as um what's coming out. What's coming out soon? <sighs> soon. That that should be like, you know, like almost like under fog. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And then here's the deal, right? So I tell you my birthday's coming up. But I am so excited because I got news from Sideshow that I have some stuff coming up. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm doing the happy dance on that. Yeah, so it seems that um, I am getting... Um, let's see, who am I getting? I am getting, uh, coming up this week is John Tracy, I believe, from the Thunderbirds. And then I'm getting the double set of um, Gem and the Holograms from Integrity Toys. Really excited about that. And then I got in the mail for my birthday, I believe, it just came yesterday, and it's a big box. I mean, hold on one second. Let me just show you how big this box is because I'm going to get a kick out of it. So give me one sec. Hold on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I know. I know. So I'm really stoked about that. That is um, um, Barbie's Star Wars. Yeah, and um, I, you know, I was just, was not expecting such a big box, but I had no idea what's in there, and I'm gonna wait till my birthday to open it up, and I'm really, really excited. The same thing, I got another um, I bought myself another gift from Integrity Toys, and have no idea what's in there. 
I think it's something from actually no, it's not. It's not on Integrity Toys. I think it's from Tonner, and Tonner makes some killer figures. Kill, now you understand killer figures. As a matter of fact, let me let me just give you a, a quick sample of what I'm talking about, so that you have some idea, some concept about what the Tonner collection is about. So hold on a sec. All right, check this out, right? Bam. All right, so this I gotta say is my second toner. The first toner that I got was from Tron, Finn. Beautiful, the outfit, I mean, they're pretty tall and the, I mean, you know, it, 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 this is like, these are more delicate than, 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 um, than um, Hot Toys. Um, you know, it, it, their, their, their face is almost like a ceramic type of thing, but they're beautiful. I mean, the sculpt on them is amazing. Um, and they're there to represent the character, not to look like the, you know, any celebrity. Um, so keep that in mind, but check this out. When I got this guy, I, I was blown away. Yeah, check him out. I mean, check him out, and I'm gonna open up his face so you get an idea. Look at that. I mean, that is amazing. Beautiful. Just beautiful, okay? So I'm really, really excited about that. So the Tonner is the other one that I got that I'm for my birthday, I believe is one of the characters from Twilight that Barbie, um, Barbie didn't make. Barbie, remember she did, they did the whole series of every character from Twilight. Um, and um, I have the whole entire collection. But my favorite thing, my favorite character, which was, um, oh my God, I can't even remember his name, but he, Tonner did a figure of him. And I think that's what is in that other package for my birthday. Yeah, so hold on one sec. Let me show you. So, yeah, so I, um, let's see. Oh yeah, you know, I want to send a, a shout out to, um, to Susan, um, from Susan Dolls. Okay, so here's the deal. I placed an order through eBay and when I got the receipt, they were sending it to my other home. And I was so disappointed because I was hoping to get this for my birthday. So I immediately I had, I contact, contacted them, um, I contacted her, Susan, um, because, and I think it's there in, in um, oh my God, Maryland? How many times? I think it's where she, she's at. And um, to let her know that, you know, I had sent her an email with making sure that it goes to this address. And the next thing I know, I'm getting this receipt saying that it's going to the other address. So she actually sent me back an email and said that she stopped the delivery and they had it reverted to this address and she paid for the extra cost. <sighs> Gotta tell ya. You know, when kindness comes your way, you got to embrace it and say thank you. And for that, she has my support. And I got to say that, you know, their company, whenever I order something, um, she, you know, I, I could call her and say, hey, can you give me a better deal? Or, you know, will you work with me? And she, she, she's been right on point. So today, yesterday, when I got that email from her, it's like, oh, yeah, man, she she has me. She, she won my heart. Um, then... Um, Let's see. Okay, so as far as um, what I've got coming my way, and, I, and by the way, I cannot wait to show you because I have some mayo. Here's the mail. Oh, it never oh, fails. It makes me want to oh, wag my oh, tail. Oh, when it comes, I want to wag. I got some killer mail. I got some killer mail. So I wanted to show you something because, you know, sometimes I talk about integrity. Um, toys, and I know that you know a lot of guys that uh, are into hot toys. They have the clueless about what I'm talking about, and um, um, at the integrity market, I got to tell you, it's a hot market for people that collect dolls. 
I mean, it is like, forget it. it. You know, a new line just came out, sold out. Can't freaking find it anywhere. Cannot find it. So that's why when I won the lottery for um, the raffle that they have for the new um, gems that are coming out, gem, gem and the holograms, I was stoked. I was stoked because I knew that I was going to be able to find it. And I'm so really, because of all of them, that's the one that I cared about. The other ones are more um, kind of fashion, fashion um, dolls um, and characters. So wasn't, you know, not as, I didn't like them as much as the, as the gem group. But the first time I got into them, American Horror. I had no idea they had done American Horror. And when I found this out, I didn't find out because this, I, can't, I don't even remember what year this came out. But I know that by the time that I, I, I was aware of it, it had been at least three years or so. So I, I was shocked that it was still available. But then I was more shocked when I found out that they did six of the characters from the Coven series, right? From, the, from, from, from that season. And I, I had to get it. I had to get it. So through, you know, um, distributors and through eBay, I was, I managed to get all six. And I am so stoked. But I gotta tell you, I gotta admit, I have never pulled one out of the box. And part of that is because my collection is split into between two places. So these are here because I was in this location and instead of having them shipped there where I wasn't gonna be able to see them, I wanted them here. I wanted to see them. So these these two are here. Um, and when I got it, I was, I was freaking blown away. So the one thing that you have to remember is that they're not like hot toys where you hear of a character and it's supposed to look like them. No, it's a kind of a, a representation of who the character is. So with that one, so this is um, the um, Zoe Benson, which is uh, one of the young girls from the Coven series, from the um, American Horror series. And I believe she is, um, Oh my God, she's a Famiga. Like I, I think. Oh my God, what? Her, her sister's another big time actress, and I can't really think of her name right now. But, um, here's Zoe. Hey, right. yeah, and what you can see, there like eyelashes going on. She's got a big hat. The outfit is right on point. Um, you know. They are an incredible series. Beautifully done. Beautiful, be beautifully done. Um, so I'm really, really excited. It, the, the way they designed their, their packages in, in this box here is where you're going to find the shoes, any jewelry, any extra hands, any extra accessories that will be in this box here. And they all come with a stand and... Um, um, you know, directions and a number and yeah, high quality, like really, 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 really beautiful. However, when they first come out, they're a lot cheaper than Hot Toys, right? On the secondary market, that's what this gets crazy. So like I think I told you yesterday, you know, the, the gem and the holograms, I think a double set on Sideshow is 290, which that's pretty steep for, for, for some people, you know? On the secondary market, that was like six ninety five. Yeah, so you know, something to think about. And then the other one that I got, Jessica Lang. <laughs> and I was so, I mean, of all the, of the, of, you know, the whole series, she's the queen. She is the queen, and you can see that boxing. The box is so beautiful, and you know, and then in the back, you can see that that's a character right there, right. So when I opened it up, that's exactly how they modeled her. Yeah, yeah, and, and scope her out. Check her out, right, with the gloved hands. She's got the umbrella, um, I mean, you know, everything, the, the black heels and all that is right in the, in the, in the box here. 
but you can't really see the, the lashes and all. But I cannot wait to pull these out of the box um, as soon as I get my, my new cases. Yeah, totally am so, so stoked about pulling her out. And I'm not gonna pull her out yet to be, um, for the fact that she's wearing black and dust on black, it, it shows big time because you know there's no pattern on this. So it, any type of dust, you're definitely gonna see it. So I don't wanna do that yet. Okay, so as far as the fashion models for, for Integrity Toys, you know, um, there are a lot of women, um, like the Sarsa Collection Go, a lot of them are, are women, right? A lot of females. And um, I myself, you know, I, my first collection is G.I. Joe. Always has been, that's, that's always been my, my thing, you know, the guy thing. And um, I have some G.I. Joe um, um, females. I believe I have like, I think there's probably like seven, eight of them that I got, but the guys dominate that whole series, right? With Integrity Toys, is the women that um, dominate the, the series. And one thing I gotta say about the, the, this line is that they cater to everybody, whether you're Asian, black, mulatto, white, you name it. They, they, they cater to, to everybody black. I mean, different tones of black, right? Um, um, beautiful. They also cater to um, people who have a different lifestyle, right? So, for example, I think they did a series of RuPaul. Uh, you know, amazing, amazing, amazing line. Beautiful, right? Um, they did also um, a, a, a gay couple um, and smoking, like really, 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 really cool looking. Um, so they're, they're very diverse, you know, and I really like that. You know, um, also some of their hands are sometimes on, on the line that, you know, some of the figures are all metal, all metal, and they're freaking beautiful. Um, um, just like on Bucky, right? Where it's got that metal arm, beautiful. You know, sometimes their hands, you could change them and their, their hands have expressions. So they got like peace or they got love, right? Um, so the, the way of them, their thinking is very current, very modern. Um, yeah, and so I really, really like the direction that they're going or that, you know, what their company is all about. So in the mail, I got most influential. This is what it's called. It comes in a shipper box. Love that. Most influential, Paolo Marino, fashion figure from the Monarchs. The home collection, the home is the guy collection, right? And um, so because the Integrity Toys is mostly I was dominated by the female figures, I cater more to the male figures and, um, and what they represent. And um, they, they're very, you know, Integrity Toys is very smart of, of you know, the designers. Um, they, they're on par, a lot more than Ken, Ken is, you know, so this is the Monarch line. See, the box is different than the American Horror, right? Um, so when you see the box, you already know which line it is. And I believe they have, um, you know, Parker Poppy, Poppy Parker, something like that. And um, they have new face and different ones, all right? So when you look at the box, you know exactly which line it is. So this is the Monarchs. And when you open it up, nice magnet box, right? Beautiful line. That's what you get. So here's Paolo and you can see, I mean, he is smoking. Right, so he's got a coat on underneath that. What you can see, he actually has a suit in here. There is a watch. He also has um, this one. Actually, um, oddly enough, he also has an umbrella, just like um, Jessica Lang. So I think I might be posting them together. And um, yeah, and then you know they make clothes for them too. So you go order extra stuff. But I like my figures as pure as they come. You know, um, so I'm really stoked about this. So he's got a you know a, a suit on, a tie, a shirt, a coat over that. A really cool plaid coat. I mean, it's like big plaid, as you can see, right? Um, so yeah, so 
I was like, all right, I, I could deal with this. So that's Paolo, Paolo Marino. And then I got this other one called Checks and Balances. And this is Elias Viega from the Monarchs as well. And you can tell by the box that it's the Monarchs, right? And when I opened him up, I was like, wow, that's, that's current. So yeah, so check this guy out. He's definitely got like a Latino flair about him. He's got his suit. He's got a, like a fur coat, um, his pink tie, killer shoes and nice watch. And yeah, so I'm actually going to um, do my first unboxing today. And I think I'm gonna start out with um, um, Paolo here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start out with him and um, see what he looks like out of the box. I think, why not? It's my birthday. So then the other thing that I got, yeah, the mail was good. The other thing that I got was, um, you remember Chicago, right? So I enjoy Chicago and you know, I'm from New York City. So, you know, Broadway is, is, is huge. And Chicago has been running for a long time. And finally, when they did the movie, of course, I went to see it. And I was kind of disappointed when Captain Cedar Jones won the Oscar versus Renee Selweger, which I thought Renee Selweger nailed it. I mean, I, you know, her singing and her acting it was beautiful. And she was sultry and sexy and all of, all of that. Right? And um, I, so I definitely think that she should definitely um, should have got the, the Oscar for that. Um, so they did a tribute to the character. Not to Renee, but the character itself. So here is the box of Chicago. And um, I thought that, that was pretty cool how they incorporated the, you know, the logo into that. But when I opened it up, I was blown away. Okay, you know, beautiful is beautiful. And when I looked at this, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, wow, she's beautiful. Now, I'm a guy, right? And I, you never hear me like, see uh, a doll and say, oh my God, she's so pretty. But you will hear me say, no, she's beautiful. And that's exactly <laughs> when I got this and I opened it up. First of all, the artistry behind these this is um um this is a Tonner doll. Right? That was integrity that I just showed you. Now this is a back to Tonner. And one thing about Tonner, their sculpts are just beautiful. I mean, they are so pristine looking and so oh, I mean, like it's, it's undescribable, guys. But when I show you, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So here, let's pull this out. And she has a net over her face right now until I display her. But you see that? I mean, that's freaking unbelievable. Like totally articulated, killer joints, strong. Um, uh, she, this one comes, I guess she has some shoes. Oh, here. Right, like those old vintage shoes and her little stockings with, you know, here, let's get rid of that. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, they nailed it. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with the character, but that's how she dressed. That's how she dressed when she was getting, you know, in her dressing room and all that. That's how they showed her. So the fact that they were able to capture that, it reminds me of um, Mahoney. When Madonna did Mahoney for Dick Tracy, that's what this reminds me of. And I cannot believe how amazingly perfect she she looks. So I'm really, really, really stoked with that. Um, it was a great, great surprise um, to receive it. But then I gotta tell you that just like Hot Toys, with this type of collection, you expect it. You expect it because we're not talking like a cheap little penny here. We, you know, I definitely am expecting killer quality when I get these. And the fact that I'm getting them new never been out of the box before i'm expecting it to look amazing and i gotta tell you i have not been disappointed because with this entire collection 
whether it's integrity, whether it's toner, whether it's hot toys, um, it's, it's freaking amazing. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So with that said, I'm expecting something to come tomorrow. And if it does happen, oh my God, I'm so excited. What a birthday! <laughs> so my friends, take care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. And, you know, hit me up. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm here for you. All right? Take care and happy collecting. See ya.